Hey guys, it's me, your favorite girl again. Let me try to turn. There, I'm sitting on the floor in the living room. Ask me why I just sat on the floor. I have no idea. Um, but I'm back again. I honestly did not plan on really getting on today, but obviously the Lord has something to say, so I'm gonna release whatever the Lord gives me. Um, so this is also a quick word. Notice the last word, guys. I said it's a quick word, and it was. It was like 15 minutes. Yeah, okay, never mind. So anyways, because y'all know when I say quick words, y'all are like, Nina, quick words for you means an hour. <laughs> and you would be absolutely correct. So thank you for loving me, even with my longness of stuff, okay? And my miscalculations of time, all right? So... Uh, this is something I really like. For those of you that know, you know I was married, went through a divorce. God gave me an option. He said he would write me a new love story or I can choose my ex-husband, blah, blah, blah. Y'all know that whole story. When God gave me the option of a new love story on 414 of 2022, that very day when I said, Lord, I'm like, I want a new love story, but let your will be done. But I was really stoked for a new love story because I want something clean, fresh, new, you know? And if God's giving a new love story, I was like, it's gonna be good, right? Um, so that very day, I am a person who records my dreams. Um, when I first started dreaming, I wrote them in journals and journals. Like I had three or four journals just full of dreams and dates and notes and stuff. Every single journal and recording of a dream that I had and my ex-husband was in it, I deleted them out of my phone. I threw my journals away because I'm like, the Lord asked me if I wanted a new love story. So <laughs> I don't need these dreams and stuff anymore, right? Even though I deleted them and threw my notebooks away, my memory is very long, okay? And what I mean by that is I remember almost every single dream that I've had, even from years ago, right? And I didn't become a prophetic dreamer until 20, 2020, right? The end of 2020. And my memory's long. So I could remember dreams in like real detail. Like I remember stuff when I was five years old, okay? So deleting stuff out of my phone for me or throwing away journals, it really serves me no purpose because I have like a really long memory. I have a very good memory. I remember things from when I was a kid, like certain stuff from when I was four years old, you know, like really young, even younger than that. Like I have a long memory bank, okay? And when it came to... When it comes to the dreams that the Lord has given me about my ex-husband from start to finish, like I still have dreams about him. And it's because it's not all for me, right? I have a ministry. So when he gives me dreams and he uses my ex-husband in things, um, it's not just for me. It serves as a purpose for other people. And a lot of the times he'll use my ex-husband in dreams so that I know he's referring to a prodigal. And that's how I'm gonna give the word because I know what God is referring to. And that's a word for people, right? So anyways, one thing I noticed is an increase in emails. And it's like people are panicking over these marriages, right? And they're like, oh my gosh, I don't know if this is my husband or if that's my husband. And I'm so confused. I don't want to miss out. Like, pray for me, da, da, da. And again, it's panic prayer. And I talked about panic prayer in the last word I released. But that's what I'm getting a lot of. And I'm just like, why are y'all so focused on this? Like, whatever God says, it's going to work out regardless, <laughs> right? God looks at your heart. So if your heart is clean, pure, and focused on him, you can't mess up anything. God's plan is going to happen regardless of what you do or don't do. And that's what people don't understand. Like people think that they can really mess up God's plans. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't mess up God's plans. A prodigal can't mess up God's plans. Your ex-husband can't mess up God's plans. Your ex-wife can't mess up God's plans. Your mom or daddy that don't want you can't mess up God's plans. God is sovereign. He's all powerful. He's all knowing. He's the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. Nobody can mess up his plans. 
And when I see emails like that, I'm just like, if y'all would just focus on God and stop focusing on that husband or that wife, because guess what? The same way God speaks to you and tell you who your husband is, some of you guys, because not everybody knows that, but God will tell you you're in a marriage season, right? The same way he speaks to you, you better believe God speaks to the other person too. It's not a one-sided conversation, okay? And I'm gonna share a dream with you guys that the, that the Lord brought back to my memory because it's gonna help somebody. God is not a one-sided God. He's not only speaking to you. If you know that God is gonna restore your marriage, whether you're divorced, separated, whatever, and he's told you, I'm gonna restore, that's exactly what he's going to do. And he's also speaking the same thing to the other person, okay? But everything unfolds and unravels at his timing. So I had a dream, God gave me a dream in 2021. Was this in 2021 or 2020? Hold on, guys. Mm. It was in 2021, I believe. Yeah, 2021. And in this dream, I was at my ex-husband's house, right? And it wasn't the current house he lives in. It was like some new house, right? I was in my ex-husband's house and I was laying in the bed. And he was laying in the bed with me. And I remember him saying, I love you. And I was like, well, if you love me, why did you take me through all of that? Why did you um, divorce me? Like, why did you hurt me like that? And he responded in the dream. He said, God forgave me, so you have to forgive me. All it took was one word from God to tell me that you were my wife. That's literally what he said in the dream. All it took was one word from God to tell me that you were my wife. That was the end of the dream. And God brought me back to that dream either yesterday or the day before. God is saying all it takes is one word, one word, uno, not two, not 1.5, one word from God for them to have an understanding of who you are. All it takes is one word for God to bring something together. All it takes is a word from God to form this thing. And at any minute, God can decide to do it. And guess what? His will is what will be done. His will is what will be accomplished. He's not just over there. If you're a person waiting for marriage restoration and you're, you're Lord, I don't see how this is gonna happen, blah, blah, blah. God says all it takes is one word from him to do this thing. One word, not two, not three, one word. All it takes is for him to speak a thing and it will be. So somebody needed to hear that because a lot of you guys, I think you honestly feel like God is one-sided, like he's only speaking to you. No, he speaks to the foolish people too. He speaks to the people that don't acknowledge him. God speaks to everybody. Some choose to listen, some choose to not listen. But you best believe his will is what will be accomplished. He is the only one that can change a person's heart. Him, not you, not me, him. And all it takes is for his word for something to be formed and accomplished and done. He formed the world with words. He spoke a thing. He wasn't digging holes and doing the most and building. He spoke it. So when it is time for that thing to be accomplished, all it takes is one word, one word from God for that thing to be accomplished. And that is what it will be. So God is not one-sided. Stop putting your focus on a prodigal, on that man or that woman walking away from you. Allow God to be God and to do what only he could do. In the meantime, focus on what God is telling you to focus on. Start the YouTube, start the TikTok, apply for the new job, apply for the, um, the loan. Do what God is telling you to do because there's work to be done in the kingdom. Your purpose is not to sit around praying for a prodigal to walk through a door. Yes, you uplift them, you pray for them, but that is not your focus. Because if that's your focus, you are idolizing that man or that woman. And that is a sin. My face is itching, Holy Spirit. Focus on what God is telling you to focus on in this hour because all it takes is one word for a situation to change. All it takes is one word for things to be restored. 
All it takes is one word for everything that he's promised you to burst down in front of your face. One word. He's the only person that can move the whole universe, the whole world on one word. He got you. Trust him. And he brought me back to that dream for a reason because some of you guys needed to hear that. Take your focus off of that man, that woman. They're not a prodigal because they left you. They're a prodigal because they stepped out of the will of God and they left God. But he never leaves them or forsakes them and he will never leave you or forsake you. Let him do his job. He does not need your help in creating anything. What part of the world did you create? Not n nothing, none. He did it all. Allow God to be God. He's not one-sided. He's not only speaking to you. In that dream, my ex-husband said all it took was one word from God for me to know like you were my wife. All it took was one word is what he said. And God brought me back to that dream. Again, I don't have the dream written or recorded. Once he said, you could have a new love story. I was like, well, I don't need these dreams no more. Who was I kidding? Because again, my memory bank. He'll bring me back to whatever he wants me to remember to release to his children in this hour. All it took was one word. Let God be God. But until you take your focus off of that person and what God promised, and walk in your purpose, you're gonna stay stuck right where you are. You're not going into this marriage to, to cuddle and be like, oh my gosh, he's here. That marriage, even when you get into it, that marriage is a ministry. It's for the glory of God. Allow God to do whatever he's doing with you. There's a reason why he hasn't brought you together with this person yet. Embrace where you are. Spend the time with God. Spend the time fellowshipping with other people. Spend this time in prayer. Journal. Start the book. Do whatever he's told you to do. Start coaching. Start the YouTube, the TikTok, the whatever, chap snap, whatever the people have in this generation. Start it. Whatever he's told you to do. Because in a moment's time, he's going to speak that one word. And it'll be go time. And you want to already be where you need to be when this union comes together. Because a lot of y'all, you don't like being by yourself. And if you don't like being by yourself or know how to be by yourself, you're not going to know how to be in a marriage with somebody else. Allow God to make you whole and complete and heal you right now. Because when he brings that marriage together, you need to come whole, happy, and healed and not expecting somebody else to make you whole, happy, and healed because that's not that other person's job. That's God's job. You're supposed to come already whole, happy, whole, W-H-O-L-E, happy, H-A-P-P-Y, and healed, H-E-A-L-E-D. You're supposed to already come like that. That's not something that's your husband or your wife's responsibility. It's not two half people coming together to make a whole. It's two 100% complete people coming together to be a powerhouse in the kingdom. God is saying all it takes is one word and his word will, will be accomplished. It'll be go time. One word. He don't even got to speak. He could just blow on that thing. And his, his, his fresh wind, his, his wind, his air, his will uproot a whole bunch of stuff just like that. Man can't do that, but God can. And he's saying all it takes is one word. And when God brings that union back together, there needs to already be a forgiveness in your heart for whatever this person took you through. It was meant for you to go through it. If you didn't go through it, you would not be where you are right now. You wouldn't completely know your worth. There was work that needed to be done on your side and the other person's side, not just their side. But God is saying all it takes is one word. He can speak a thing, blow on it, look at it, and it has to do what he says. So I just wanted to release that. I'm sure I'll be back on here, guys, because uh, <laughs> the Lord is speaking. So I love you guys. Talk later. Bye.